swing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These children are finding what length the pendulum has to be so that each swing takes one second. Nine seconds. Pendulum on a clock swings backwards and forwards. Each swing takes the same amount of time. We use this to control our clocks, which keep and tell the time. Imagine you're eating a sandwich. What parts of your body are moving? What sort of movement is it? Imagine you're cleaning your teeth. What's moving now? Imagine you're running along the road to the park. Which parts of you are moving most? Which parts are going up and down? Which parts are moving in turn? Think about all the different paths you make when you're in a play park. There are other ways of moving. What do you think is happening here? about getting a bicycle ready to ride. Watch the hand movements this athlete uses to give life to the ribbon.
Look for the way the whole ribbon traces out the path she sets up. Watch the leg movements of these cyclists. Some parts of the cyclist's body hardly move at all. Others are always moving. Some parts of a cyclist's leg go up and down. Some go round and round. The plastic strips are hinged together with the two ends fixed to the table. Like these children, you may find that the strips will only move in one special way. Some parts of machines go round and round, and some backwards and forwards. Look at the way that these wheels and rods move together. 